if you think about it, Disney's been prepping us for the cancellation of the MCU as a whole for a couple of years. They've said it over and over and over in interviews. Superhero fatigue, superhero fatigue, superhero fatigue. It's like the only thing they can uh, say to cope for the fact that nobody wants these uh, middle-aged woman shows all over everything. Um, it's, it's such a disaster. Uh, and you can see it right here. This is going to be the next uh, iteration, Agatha All Along, uh, which they changed the name of 50 times as a, quote, joke uh, as in the promotions. This is a this is a spinoff from WandaVision, uh, which was a failure of a show by itself, and taking an obnoxious character that nobody likes and making her the strong female lead uh, for wine ants uh, with cats, uh, the MCU show. <laughs> but this is not uh, the rumor that's circulating around this getting canceled, which I, I can't even believe this is still airing, to be honest. They're saying that Young Avengers is now uh, on the chopping block. Now, this was their big franchise saver they were going to reboot everything with a with a full group of strong female leads with uh with ms marvel with uh the ant-man chick ant girl ant them ant they ant i i don't know uh and uh and uh female hawkeye uh to be a, a slay queen buffy the vampire slayer uh yes finally a strong female lead <laughs> Uh, but uh, it looks like it might not be happening, and we're going to get into that in just a moment. My name's John Delarose. I write comic books, and so I do a one-up on anything Disney's ever done because these people don't watch the comic books before making these shows. They're just woke activists doing these things. And uh, I've been a professional comic writer for a long time now, and I have my new book, uh, The Hidden Emperor, coming out on Kickstarter in uh, just a few days here. So I'm going to be launching this, I think, July 11th. Uh, and I would love for you to sign up. Uh, we got 416 followers. Thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel, supporting our artistic efforts. This is going to be better than anything uh, out there that Disney produces. I guarantee it. You're going to love it. Uh, I'm finishing up the edits to the novel that accompanies this right now. Uh, and I appreciate you for the support. All right. So let's look at what's going on with Young Avengers. Uh, this is uh, coming from Covered Geekly. Uh, and they're reporting that uh, this has been canceled by Marvel Studios. Now, canceled is a word that maybe doesn't apply here because there's something uh, that a lot of people forgot uh, during talking about hyping all of this. Uh, this is really just Iman Vellani hyping a, quote, Avengers show that never has been greenlit. Uh, Disney has not officially ordered any Young Avengers movie or show uh, yet. It has not happened. So while they teased uh, in the Marvels that this was uh, going to be coming together, uh, while they obviously teased in Ms. Marvel that this sort of thing was going to be coming together as well, um, they have not ever greenlit this. And now it looks like it might not be happening. And the real reason uh, behind all of this is the gal who plays Cassie Lang uh, has been uh, followed by James Gunn and is reported to be uh, maybe taking a role in the DC universe that he's creating. So that actually just uh, knocks her schedule out, uh, tears this team apart. You don't have your three... Uh, female replacements anymore you now only have two and that poses a major problem uh, for what they had going forward because uh, they just don't have the 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 any you know following at least ant-man as a movie franchise like had some viewers uh ms marvel the marvels and hawkeye really didn't uh and so they can't really build a franchise off of this uh going forward which is which is the crazy thing so she's always talked about this as i said um, you know, and we had Kate Bishop, of course, at the end credits of the Marvels uh, to try to try to push this sort of thing. Uh, but uh, fans are convinced at this point that this is actually true and that this has been canceled. Well, it's no wonder. I mean, they've really destroyed their brand. I mean, if you if you just look at this, this is like uh, if you thought the acolyte sucked, said neurotic. I mean, my God. I mean, just this still image just like really says all you need to know about the upcoming Agatha show. This is the one of the cringiest things I've ever possibly seen. But it gets cringier. I mean, you remember She-Hulk. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, Tatiana uh, Maslany uh, says, Parents have no place in preventing transgender propaganda from poisoning their kids' minds. And this is the thing. They, they all go out with this stuff. They, they turn off American audiences. They turn off family audiences because, like, you know, you start going into this type of crap what like responsible parents going to let your kid watch uh, these Marvel shows at this point? You wouldn't uh, because you don't want to support this kind of thing. You don't want to get your kid's mind warped by the, the propaganda that they're putting into this stuff. And that's exactly what they do. She's been 
absolutely horrible on all this stuff. So she says, letting parents in Canada, that's an overreach uh, to be involved in your child's life as a parent. This is crazy. Uh, she is known for her role in She-Hulk, attorney at law. And here you go, no children of her own. And this is the problem with these uh, these these middle-aged women who like are not uh, going to be having children is they start to develop psychological problems uh, with their narcissism, especially when they're these little celebrity starlets to start. Uh, they just become like they think they've they've got some like magical thing, and they don't understand what it's like to be parents to try to raise kids. Uh, it's absolutely disgusting that she would say this and try to take rights away from parents. She says it's an overreach on the reach on the part of the provincial government to legislate to that. It's absurd. Children have rights. Children are human beings who have knowledge and know themselves, and we should be taking cues from them. There's a lot of the SJW woke token token talking points uh, lately that the children should be listened to. Uh, <laughs> most children have no idea what they're doing, uh, and if they if they see a hot stove, they're going to stick their hand on it if they don't know better. And that's why you got to go stop! Don't burn your freaking hand on the stove. I mean, that's your whole job is to prevent your kids from from dying. <laughs> and this is a this is a very similar situation because the the mental illness that comes along uh, with these lifestyles uh, really doesn't do well for them later in life. If they get on these hormone blockers and all that, yeah, the repercussions of later in life is really, really bad. They don't want to tell you this. They want to just pretend there's this peachy keen, uh, you know, transphoria that's going to be out there. It's quite the opposite, quite the opposite. And it's all because uh, when you pump your body with these weird substances, you're going to have problems. It makes a lot of sense. Now, She-Hulk was a train wreck by itself. You didn't even need her going out doing this kind of stuff. And, uh, and she's been doing it the entire time. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's another thing for Disney+. Plus. So you don't need this kind of bad public relations when you're already coming out with lousy shows to begin with. And it looks like there's going to be major problems going forward on this stuff. So uh, the gal from Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, hasn't been announced to be playing the DC role just yet. Uh, but it sounds like she might be in an audition or talking because uh, they say that it's a sign of her hoping to jump ship. Uh, because of a couple of things right here. So uh, uh, despite the, uh, here, where, where were the, uh, James Gunn actually followed her on uh, Instagram, I guess, very recently, which led to the speculation. Uh, and that's uh, that's what we look like for this. Now, I don't think this is going to go forward because I think Disney's going to be at a point right now where they've taken such massive losses from the Acolyte, $180 million. Uh, the Secret Wars was over $200 million to produce these shows have not done well for them, and the movies have not helped either. The only thing they have resting for them to go forward uh, that's looking like fans might actually come in for it is Deadpool and Wolverine, and uh, you can't really replicate that uh, without Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds uh, at the lead. That is the whole appeal of that uh, show to begin with. So I do foresee this getting canceled, and I foresee a lot of cup projects getting canceled and not going forward in the future. So I think these rumors are absolutely true. And uh, that is why we're reporting it here. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.